Hi, I'm preparing right now while filming this video. Walking along this narrow pathway here, I'm actually in preparation for a round the world trip. It was a little over three years ago in the spring of 2019 that I went on a round the world trip, leaving here from Bangkok and flying to San Francisco. And from San Francisco, I took a train to Mountain View, California and taught yoga to the techies in the hive mind in Silicon Valley. From there, I wound up in Santa Fe, New Mexico, again, visiting other friends in the yoga business. And from Santa Fe, New Mexico, I headed north by Greyhound bus, stopping first in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and getting a nice view of Pikes Peak. And from there, yet another bus trip up to Cheyenne, Wyoming, which was uh, kind of a nice town. I like Cheyenne, Wyoming. But on May 23rd, spring of 2019, it frickin' snowed, like two inches worth of snow. I had also discovered at that point that traveling by Greyhound bus really sucks in the United States. So I rented a car for the rest of my northward journey through Colorado into Montana. I'm sorry, across Wyoming. Let's I was in Wyoming. That's where Shirt Cheyenne is. Across Wyoming into Montana and visited friends in Butte, Montana. Again, some yoga folks. And from there, flew to visit my family in New York. New York back to Bangkok. Again, round the world trip. This particular round the world trip that I'm planning that's going to take place in December is going the other way. I'm going to fly from here to New York, spend a little time with my family, and then head out, uh, picking up a train in Chicago and traveling through the Rocky Mountains on Amtrak in the wintertime through Donna Pass. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. And again, San Francisco, LA, and then flying to the Philippines. I haven't quite decided how long I'm staying in the Philippines yet, but at least a week, maybe up to as long as a month. See how things go when I get there. you may ask, is this uh, specifically training for a round the world trip? Well, the walking. Walking is a big part of my fitness plan. And it really helps to be able to just put on a pair of sneakers and go when you're on the road like that. You know, if there's, sorry, I'm looking at the stairs as I'm climbing. You know, if there's a destination that you need to go to and it's hard to make any kind of uh, transportation connections. And it's, let's say, you know, five to eight miles away. <laughs> I like it that I could just say, oh, well, put on my sneakers and go. So it is part of my fitness preparation to, uh, to be able to walk a lot. Now, I have a varied uh, fitness routine, something at my age that's essential, cross training. Uh, and doing so softly at times, uh, at my age, it's easy to get hurt when you get older, and I'm, I'm learning that because I've been working pretty hard for the last couple of months, the last six months or so, to get back into peak fitness, whatever that is for a guy my age. And I've learned that I have to be a little bit careful. I can't go to the balls to the wall kind of workouts that I used to do as a younger man, because if I do, I get hurt, and that's a setback. You know, if you have to take time off, um, you suffer rapidly uh, from inactivity when you're older. I just had COVID. Uh, a couple of weeks ago it took me out for 10 days and I felt the difference when I got back to working out so um, yeah I have to be consistent a little bit more gentle than I was in my younger days uh, and build rest into it and to have uh, exercise workouts that I, I, my body can tolerate and still do a lot of like walking now the uh, the bedrock of my workout is uh, my yoga class I, I do that uh, every other workout day. My workout uh, plan is easy. I do a yoga class. Then uh, the following day, the yoga class is a 90-minute Bikram yoga workout. It's a pretty intense workout, and that's uh, my intense workout plan. Uh, the day after I do a yoga workout, I do uh, a combination of... Uh, of, of uh, push-ups, sit-ups, 
walk down the wall back bends, squat, and stair climbing, followed by a little stretching. Walking gives you the opportunities to see interesting stuff you wouldn't normally see on a transportation conveyance vehicle. Like this BMW with an American flag propped up on its fender. In order to display an American flag legally in Thailand, one must be connected to an embassy. Let's make something sinister up about that. Yeah, it's the CIA. They're, they're here on a clandestine mission, no doubt. Walking permits me to have fun while I'm exercising. So yeah, I'm, you know, like I'm walking with a purpose tonight. Uh, I'm coming down to Soy 11 to get myself a pork chop. You see, I have a, uh, a specialized diet that I follow. And it ain't freaking vegan. I hate vegan. Actually, I dislike eating uh, vegetarian, which I have to do because of, I have dietary issues. If I eat too much meat or certain other foods, I get gout. So I have to eat a lot of vegetarian stuff. And I freaking hate it. But hey, tonight I'm combining my walking with a little tour. Uh, I'm headed, this, I'm approaching Soy 11 here. And I generally come down to Soy 11 on, uh, on Thursday evening, which it is tonight, to meet up with my friend Blockchain and uh, and have my weekly pork chop. I do eat meat, but I just eat it sparingly. I give myself maybe um, an opportunity to eat meat twice a week. And tonight, tonight, here's the problem. Blockchain moved to London. He's in a big business deal of some sort, and he had to go there to get venture capital and stuff going on. But I thought, you know what? I, I, I could come here and have my pork chop without him. I'm taking all of you with me. So tonight I'm going to have my pork chop and then we're going to walk around um, uh, this area of uh, Bangkok, which I haven't been to in a while. When I first moved to, uh, to Bangkok six years ago, I lived in this area. And uh, there is a, uh, an interesting walk that I'm going to take you on. It's called, what we call it, we being me and my friends, the Walk of Shame. And here we are at my favorite uh, joint on Soy 11 is the old German beer house. So th there's more than one reason that I come to the German beer house. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Having satisfied my carnivorous cravings at the old German beer house, I'm now heading down Soy 11 in uh, in more American terms, that would be Soy Streak, Sukumvit Soy 11. Uh, we'll translate that into uh, into New York, and that would be uh, 11th Street off the main avenue of Sukumvit. So yeah, uh, we're off to take the Walk of Shame, and this is the perfect place to uh, to, to begin such a walk. Because it, you know, coming up on the right, you will see uh, a little bit of a foreshadow of what's to come on the Walk of Shame. Because from that string of lights down there up to what looks like an ice cream truck, which does sell goodies, but it's not ice cream, one can purchase just about every vice known to man, except maybe gambling. You could probably find that without much trouble as well. So, watch my next video where we will take the walk of shame. See you there.